Hello, my name is Grifted, and this is episode 6 of the Hunting Horn Masterclass series. Today, we are going to discuss the little things. These are various techniques too small to get their own video, so I lumped them into this one. Let's begin. When the left stick is in a neutral position, pressing triangle on the PS4 will draw the weapon without using an attack. This is important if you have an unfinished song stocked up and need a specific note to finish that song. Using the draw attack would ruin it. So we use neutral weapon draw, then press the buttons we need to finish the song, like the circle button in this example. In this example, you see me putting the neutral weapon draw to great use on an Azura Rathalos. I covered the wake up previously in another Hunting Horn Masterclass video, but failed to include a couple things. When a monster is sleeping, place two mega barrel bombs at its head. You can detonate the bombs with a small barrel bomb, slinger ammo, or a boomerang. However, did you know you can detonate the bombs with your hunting horn without taking any damage? Here's how to perform this stylish technique. We use the super pound move, whiffing the first hit of the super pound and detonating the bombs with the second hit. The spacing is similar to waking up a monster with a super pound, but it's certainly more strict. There's no easy way to get this technique down other than just to practice. It's so easy as the hunting horn player to get into the habit of canceling the ending animation of a super pound as fast as possible. But sometimes the best option is to do nothing. Waiting after a super slam is a passive play that can be both offensive and defensive in nature. As you can see in these examples, following a super pound, you have a large window to input the roll. So it allows you to delay your roll depending on the situation. This small technique is incredibly situational and you won't always want to use it. It's up to you as the hunting horn player to decide when is the proper time to slow it down and wait. By pressing forward circle on the PS4, you perform a flourish, or a double note swing. You can cancel the second hit of the flourish by rolling. The flourish is a very useful move, enabling you to play two different notes from one move. By canceling the second hit of the flourish, what you have is one of the hunting horn's fastest moves, though it does have low motion value and low stun value. The flourish cancel can be a quick way to sneak in damage, or get you out of trouble. You can react to what the monster does, allowing you to reposition with the roll. Speedrunners use flash pods to pull monsters to a specific location quickly. When a monster hears a flash pod but doesn't see it, it will run to the location the flash pod was thrown. This technique only works if you aren't in battle mode, so I usually use it at the start of a fight. You also have to be relatively close to the monster. Be sure to use ledges or walls to hide the flash pod. This technique is useful for speedrunners and the general population because it speeds up your kill times, making farming and grinding a monster just a little bit faster. Here you can see me practicing for a tempered Valhazak speedrun. I'm using the flash pull technique to pull Valhazak underneath these two rocks to initiate the fight. Like the flash pull, this technique isn't exclusive to hunting horn players. Also like the flash pull, you see speedrunners do this frequently when they stream. If you want to farm a specific monster, let's say Teosher in the Elder's Recess, you should begin an expedition to the Elder Recess in Camp 15. Once you beat Teosher, return to camp, fast travel to Camp 15, and then begin the quest all over again. What this does is prevent the wing drakes from transporting you to different locations, potentially slowing your hunt down. So, pre-spawn at the camp you want to spawn into during the quest, and you're guaranteed to spawn there, taking some of the randomness out of this game. Well, there you have it. Some smaller techniques to further refine your hunting horn gameplay. Implement them how you see fit, and as always, keep playing that sweet chin music, boys.